Springs, California, you'll be forgiven if the 2018 Range Rover Revealer seems like a head-scratcher at first. After all, the newest member of the Land Rover family is about the same size as the extant and more expensive Range Rover Sport. It's also almost identical in stature to its Jaguar F-Pace cousin, with which it shares more than a handful of components, including details like the platform down to matching wheelbase lengths and power trends. But when given more than just a cursory look, the Veeler starts to make a lot of sense. Let's get the Range Rover Sport out of the way first. While its footprint and that of the Veeler are similar, the Sport is some £1,000 and $16,850 more substantial. Some would say you get most of a Sport with a Veeler, and if you look purely at objective metrics like engine specs and feature lists, it's hard to argue they're wrong. But there's more to cars than just the objective, and subjectively the Veeler is a kinder, gentler soul that's more likely to get someone to step up from the smaller Avoc than to step down from a Sport. Land Rover itself is confident that cannibalization will be minimal and early returns, the first full month of sales, show that 85% of Veeler customers are new to the brand. It's a similar story with regards to the Jaguar of Pace, which is closer in price to the Evoc than the Veeler. Despite the sharing of platforms, wheelbases, and engines, the Jaguar is slightly lighter, and noticeably more agile, but more on that later. Then there's the small matter of the drastically different designs inside and out, with the Veelers leaning towards sophisticated and luxurious while their pace tilts heavily toward the sporty side of things, befitting their respective personas. Speaking of design, the Veelers is the cleanest and prettiest expression of Range Rover's contemporary design language. Almost devoid of hard edges, the Veeler boasts minimal lines on the side and the cleanliness is amplified by the trick retracting door handles. In a way, the sheet metal is almost too smooth, at least to eyes used to busy faces and excess creases that do little but create visual noise. The minimalist saga continues inside the airy cabin, which packs the latest in touchscreen technology. The dash is clean and elegant, and physical controls have been reduced to the bare necessities a volume knob and a pair of rotary dials that resemble temperature switches, but actually control multiple functions, depending on which screen you select. Everything else is a touchpoint that simulates the button experience think the button on the iPhone 7 via force feedback, as are the steering wheel mounted controls. Land Rover's interface designers made the most out of the new Touch Pro Duo system's twin 10-inch screens intelligently separating navigation and entertainment functions top screen from climate control and vehicle settings bottom screen. It's quick and responsive, better than the setup in our Four Seasons Jaguar of Pace, and the only gripe possible is the lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Be sure to spring for the 1600 watt, 23 speaker Meridian sound system, which will massage your ears as pleasantly as the seat's massager will work your back or execute a violent and brutal oral assault on your neighbors, if that's more your thing. When it comes to the mechanical soundtrack, VR buyers have three choices, two gasoline and one diesel. All are mated to as Fzaurus 8-speed automatic, which does an excellent job of managing ratios regardless of which power plant drives it. The base engine is the gasoline version of JLR's new Ingenium 2.0-liter turbo a smooth and refined mill that delivers a smooth stream of power and provides a good punch when the need or urge to bury the right side pedal into the floor arises thanks to its 247 horsepower and 269 lbft output peaks, the latter coming on at a mere 1,200 revolutions per minute. Land Rover claims a respectable 060 miles per hour time of 6.4 seconds and a healthy 5,075 miles per hour passing performance of 4.7 seconds, which came in handy when the time came to go around slow moving traffic on a twisty tool lawn. It's also reasonably fuel efficient. Option 2 is the diesel powered version of that 2.0 liter turbo which makes 180 horsepower and 317 lbft of torque. It would be a stretch to call it quick, or even spry, as hitting 60 miles per hour takes 8.4 seconds, but it does get 26 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway, per the EPA. 
and it's quite quiet to the point that it doesn't really sound like a diesel at all, so don't expect to pick one out of a lineup just by listening for the clatter. Most of our time, including the off-road portion, was spent in a Veeler powered by the third engine offering, the stalwart 3.0-liter supercharged V6. It combines 380 horsepower with 332 lbft, propelling the 4,471 pound SUV. The V6 is the heaviest of the three variants, outweighing the gasoline 4x254 pounds and the diesel 4x112 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. About on par with the Mercedes AMG G65, to pick one random example. The 6 can also tow a bit more being rated to pull 5,512 pounds, while the 4s are rated to pull 5,291 pounds. Its droning soundtrack isn't for everyone, however, and unless you really want the extra zip or plan on getting your Range Rover dirty and possibly beat up, you'll be well served by one of the two four-cylinder engines. There are several elements that make the V6 the engine of choice for would-be off-roaders. First and foremost, of course, is the extra torque on offer. Second is the adjustable air suspension, which comes standard on all V6 powered Veelers, it makes for a bouncier ride on road than the traditional coil spring suspension, but whereas a Veeler with the standard coil suspension only has 8.4 inches of ground clearance, with the air suspension, the adjustable suspension equipped one gets to boast as much as 9.9 .9 inches of speeds up to 32 miles per hour third. The optional active locking rear differential is only available on V6 models, unlike traditional locking differentials, it doesn't actually lock, but rather allocates torque distribution based on load transfer and friction. Throw and Land Rover's terrain response and all-terrain progress control systems and what you have is a Range Rover with the off-road ability of, well, a Range Rover. Despite the soft-looking sheet metal, this rig doesn't go soft when the road gets hard, even while wearing its stock Pirelli Scorpion Verde all seasons, sized 25550R20 on the mid-range Veeler Dynamic say we occupied wheel sizes range from 18 to 22 inches, depending on the trim. The Veeler expertly and confidently handled the tricky trail through the eastern San Bernardino Mountains, its forward progress easily managed either by human inputs or the ATPC which will crawl you along at your chosen speed within its operational range of 2.2 miles per hour and 18 miles per hour even some of the hardened off-roaders on hand appeared impressed, and I'm not talking about the instructors charged with making sure we journalists kept the cars shiny and smooth. Out of the hills and back in the land of cell reception, the Veeler offered a comfortable and luxurious cruise, soaking up bumps and keeping wind and tire noises outside the cabin where they belong. As mentioned earlier, the air sprung V6 felt bouncier on uneven pavement, and seemed to offer a bit more body roll through the turns. Neither setup offered as much confidence as that of our Jaguar of pace, and steering leans toward the looser side of things, but sporty driving isn't the Veeler's mission, either. Still, it'll happily manage a mountain road at the posted speed limit without making the rear passengers decorate the leather with their lunches on the way up to the ski chalet. While some may find the Veeler's design to be so smooth that it lands in their personal uncanny valley, there is no question that this Range Rover is smartly positioned and well executed. It checks all of the important luxury SUV boxes and neatly fills the $50k $70k gap for the company's lineup, giving Land Rover a dollar for dollar answer to the Porsche Macan, Mercedes Benz GLE, and BMW X5. Given the appeal of the Range Rover brand and the Veeler's adherence to its brand values, this Brit should give the Germans plenty to worry about. We went to Palm Springs to do Range Rover things with the Range Rover Veeler. Hash no boring cars. Hash Range Rover Veeler Hash Range Rover Hash Offroad Hash Offroading Hash SUV Hash California Post shared by Automobile Magazine at on October 12, 2017 at 7.48 p.m. PDT 2018 Range Rover Veeler Specifications on Sale Now Price $50,895 Base Engines 2.0 Liters Turbocharged Dock 16 Valve I 4247 HP at 5,500 revolutions per minute minute, 
269 lbft at 1, 2004, 500 revolutions per minute, 2.0 liters turbid Sodok 16 valve I 4180 HP at 4000 revolutions per minute, 317 lbft at 1500 revolutions per minute. 3.0 liters supercharged dock 24 valve v6380 hp at 6500 revolutions per minute 332 lbft at 3 comma 5005 000 revolutions per minute transmission 8 speed automatic layout 4 door 5 passenger front engine awd suv epa mileage 16 million 212 thousand 126 miles per gallon city wheel x w x h 189.1 by 84.4 by 65.6 in wheelbase 113.1 in weight 4 comma 2174 471 pounds 060 miles per hour 5 38.4 seconds top speed 130,155 miles per hour.